sort of over the past, well, it's unclear when it really started, but over the past 50 years, um, urban and suburban expansion in um, outside of Charleston has displaced the collection of these materials. It's actually increasingly displacing the communities, as I hope to show you. Um, as a livelihood use, prior to 1910, literally the baskets were used in households as storage devices, as processing technologies, used to separate rice from the shaft by sort of um, throwing the rice in these big baskets called a fanner basket. Um, beginning in 1910, um, and this is important, this was actually right after a major hurricane disrupted the crops <coughs> of the low country, um, African American women who made the baskets began selling them on roadsides, uh, US Highway 17, um, to tourists who were coming to the South Carolina country. And then, so by the late 20th century, um, basketry is really an art form, it's for sale, it's to supplement um, incomes. Um, and I want to point out sort of um, differences in urban patterns post-World War II versus post-Hugo. Post-Hugo is 1989, it's a Category 3 hurricane, um, very much like 